How to create an online forum. The forum activity lets teachers create online discussion forums for inquiries, online consultation, reflection activities, or online recitation. It is an activity for asynchronous discussions. How to create an online forum. First, go to your course page and don't forget to do this step. Don't forget to click Turn on Editing. If you want to change the content of the topic sections, always start with clicking Turn on Editing. If you're using Tiles Format, it may help to click Expand All so that you can easily see the content of each and every topic section. So the first step is to go to the topic section where you want to add the forum activity. Then, look for the link Add an Activity or Resource. Click Add an Activity or Resource. Then, look for Forum. Click Forum and click Add. We'll start with a general description of the forum. Type a name for the forum. Let's say, Socials Forum. In the description box, you can indicate here the instructions or guidelines on how to use this forum. It is also important to share some guidelines on how to use the forum. Forum types. There are several types of forum in Ouble, not just a standard forum for general use. So to know more about these forums, just click the question mark icon beside forum type. As you can see, there is a single simple discussion. There is each person posts one discussion, a Q&A forum, and there are two types of standard forum. Uh, for general use. Um, one displayed in black like format and the other one is just the ordinary one. For this case, we'll choose the default forum type because this is a socials forum. We would like to choose a forum for general use. Attachments and word count. So in this part, um, we will modify the settings regarding attachment size, um, number of attachments, and whether or not we will display a word count for each post. Subscription and tracking. So it is very important that we choose the appropriate or best um, subscription mode for the purpose of the forum. So if it's a socials forum, you don't want to force subscribe your users because the discussions in a socials forum are not necessarily important for everyone. So you have to keep subscription optional um, for the user. So it depends on the user and whether or not um, he or she will subscribe to a particular discussion topic. Next, we have read tracking. Um, so to know more about read tracking, just click the question mark icon. So read tracking enables participants to easily check which posts they have not yet seen by highlighting any new posts. So in general, it's better to set this to optional, which is the default uh, value for read tracking. Next, um, we have discussion locking. So if you want to lock discussions after a period of inactivity, then go ahead, set or set a different value for this field. Now, but for this case, we'll just leave it as it is. Next is CROT. CROT is an anti-plagiarism checker. However, it can only compare files within the OVLE system, meaning comparison of submitted files with um, internet sites are not yet available because we don't have a subscription. So if you enable CROT, you can um, uh, maximize its capability to compare files within the system. So it can do comparison with other students. So there you go. So the steps are, you have to describe the forum, uh, attachments and word count, and assign subscription tracking. Those are the minimum. After that, 
don't forget to click Save and Return to Course. That's it. We've just created a socials forum. So don't forget to click Turn Off Editing to see the final effect of the procedure. So if you visit here, Module 1, you'll see there a socials forum. We've just created a new forum activity. Tips about how to effectively use forum activities in your class. So tip number one, create a dedicated space for virtual interactions or virtual communications. You may dedicate one tab or topic section where you will put polls or forums. Now, this way, your students will find it easier to locate forum activities or choice activities in your course page. Tip number two. Always set up a general forum or a socials forum. A course page will always have an announcements forum. It's part of the default layout, but that is not enough. You have to provide a space where students can ask questions, share ideas, or express themselves. It is very important to have a social component even if it's online. So for this case, the appropriate form type is standard forum for general use. When you are creating a general forum activity, make sure to set subscription mode to optional subscription. That's the most appropriate subscription mode. As mentioned uh, in our example, the student may subscribe or unsubscribe to discussion topics that he or she finds helpful. This way, it uh, avoids the chance of flooding uh, unnecessary emails to our users. More about general forums, it is very important to set house rules to, on how to use a general purpose forum because it's open for everyone. It's also good to suggest a title format to students so that they can easily search discussion topics within the forum activity. Take note, there is a small dot or a small envelope icon at the end of each discussion topic. That's the icon for subscribing or unsubscribing to a specific discussion topic. So just click that icon to subscribe or unsubscribe to a discussion topic. When you subscribe, you will receive email notifications about that discussion topic. Another tip is using Q&A forum. Q&A forum is one of the interesting types, as another interesting type of forum in Ublet. It is a type of forum that simulates class recitation in an online environment. So what are the rules of a Q&A activity or a Q&A forum activity? Well, first, only the teacher can post a discussion topic and students can reply their answers. It's just like an announcements forum. However, in this type of forum, students will not be able to see the response of their classmates until they have posted their own response. Moreover, there's a 13-minute grace period for after posting the response, meaning during this grace period, the student can still edit his or her post, and during that time, he or she will still not be able to see the responses of others. So this type of forum encourages students to develop their own ideas or opinion at the same time it allows them to learn from each other because eventually they will see the responses of their classmates. This is an example of a Q&A forum. So for this case, the teacher Ian Lemel Cruz posted a question and the first one to respond is Isko Matalino. Then, a few minutes later, um, his classmate Iska Matapang also saw the question and she is about to post her answer. And as you can see, Iska Matapang will not be able to see Isko's answer because she has not posted her own response yet. Upon posting her response, a grace period will uh, start and during this grace period, Iska Matapang will still not see Isko's answer but as you can see, um, there are buttons that will allow her to edit her response. So during this time, um, she, she just have to wait or she may edit her answer. After 30 minutes, Iska Matapang will be able to see the responses of her classmates. And that's how Q&A forum works.
Last tip, start your class with a getting to know you activity via forum. This activity will allow your participants to express themselves or to introduce themselves in the online classroom. It is also an opportunity for students to know each other. It is very important that we keep the social aspect of learning even if um, we are in an online classroom or using a virtual learning environment. To conduct a getting to know you activity, you may use a forum to open a discussion topic. Then instruct your students to introduce themselves. One way is to let them share, let's say, a selfie or a TikTok video with a personal introduction. Uh, this is a good idea for classes involving freshman students or classes um, involving students from different colleges because most often than not, they will not know each other. Uh, this type of activity also makes online learning more human because there's somehow more human interactions even if it's not face-to-face. Um, -face. And uh, it will be definitely much better if this teacher will participate because it's also an an opportunity for the teacher to establish connection with the students even if the, the mode of learning is remote or online. That's the end of the video demonstration. For questions and clarifications, open a ticket at ILC Tiliman Help Desk. Visit helpdesk.ilc.upd.edu.ph. Upgrade to interactive.